today we're going to talk about how to do a mental diet. So let's talk about that. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So I'm a certified law of attraction coach and today we're talking about mental diets. So if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon below because I do put out new videos every Sunday, Wednesday and Friday, each one of them designed to help you create something wonderful in your life. So let's talk a little bit more of a mental diet. Basically, a mental diet is only entertaining thoughts of things that you want, positive thoughts about your situation. So it's very much smashing any sort of negative, doubtful, or limiting belief thought that you have in the moment and changing it into a positive intention, okay? So how do you create a mental diet? So you, you want to create your intentions, okay? So how you create your intentions is you say, what would my thoughts be if I already had this, okay? So you take a piece of paper and a pen and you say, if I was already in a relationship with so-and-so, what would my thoughts be? If I already had this job, what would my thoughts be? Okay. If I had a multi-million dollar company, what would my thoughts be? Okay. And then you start listing out all of your thoughts that you would have. Okay. Now, normally you boil down to about two or three of them. Okay. You can take, and this is like creating a mantra with a mental diet. Okay. So there are two ways to do a mental diet. The first way you can do a mental diet is you can basically say, you know what? I intend to be with so-and-so. Let's say it's taking and making Jerry from wanting uh, friends with benefits to an actual relationship. Your mental diet would look like this. I intend for Jerry to want to be in a relationship with me. Oh, but you know what? Oh, I don't think he wants to be in a relationship. No, he definitely wants to be in a relationship with me because I'm good enough. It's going to happen. Then you go about your day and it's like, oh, he hasn't texted me back. No, I know Jerry's going to text me back. He's going to do it because he wants to be in a relationship with me because I am good enough, you know? So it's about stopping any negative thought that you have as they come up and changing it into a positive intention. The other way to do it is you would take everything you wrote down with what your thoughts would be if you already had it and you would create a mantra. So for instance, right, for the job, you would say your mantra would be something like, I am the perfect candidate for the job. Of course I got the job because I am good enough. Okay. So then you would be going about your day and you'd be like, oh, I'm not sure if I got that job. They haven't messaged me yet. No, I know I'm going to get that job because I'm the perfect candidate and I can hear them tell me that because I am good enough. Right. And then you go along and they're like, oh, did you hear back from that company yet? No, but I'm going to because you know what? I am the perfect candidate and I am going to get that job because I am good enough. And they're going to tell me that I'm the perfect candidate. Right. So basically what a mental diet is, is it's stopping any negative that thought that you have and thinking it through for a minute and changing it into a positive intention right on the spot, changing it over to the positive because your thoughts really do create. So, you know, things like, well, you know what? Oh, I don't know if he's going to call me. I don't know why he's not calling me. Why is he doing this? No, he does want to be with me. He is going to call me. Right. So that's about changing it over is always making sure that you're focusing on what you want. OK, so here's a mental diet. OK, I'm making a video. Oh, is this video going to be any good? Is anyone going to ever like it? You know, no, I intend for a bunch of people to like it. And I intend for this video to be good. And I intend for it to help people understand how to do a mental diet. <laughs> I intend that everybody who watches this video is going to understand how to do a mental diet. <laughs> oh, the ones that I don't look good in the video. What happens if, you know, they think I didn't dress up but if no I intend for them to love the fact that I dress casual and that I'm relatable and I can hear them all tell me that <laughs> okay so that's what a mental diet is is it stopping any of those doubts and those thoughts the question is right as you go throughout the day the one question to ask yourself after every single thought you have is do I really want to create that okay so again, there's two ways to do the mental diet. You can basically go through on the fly and change any negative thoughts you have into positive intentions, or you can create a mantra. And the mantra is usually, you know, of course he wants a relationship with me. He's totally dealt with his baggage and he's ready to be in a relationship with me. And I can hear him say that, and I am good enough, or, you know, I am going to get the job. I'm the most qualified candidate for it. And I can hear them tell me that. And of course I'm good enough or, you know, of course I'm going to grow my business to be a multi-million dollar business. I am a businesswoman. I am an entrepreneur, you know, and I can hear everyone tell me that because I am good enough or, you know, 
course I'm going to manifest and make $50,000 a month after taxes <laughs> because I know what I'm doing and money flows to me easily and effortlessly because I am good enough or whatever it is you are creating, right? You create that mantra and anytime a negative doubt comes up, you basically say your mantra because it's a little bit of an easier way to do the mental diet than switching over all the positive intention, like the negative thoughts into positive intentions on the fly. However, it's more effective to do the negative intention, the negative thoughts right over to the positive as you get them rather than a mantra. That way you cover basically all your bases and you won't see as many partial manifestations or misfires or whatever. So yeah, that's how a mental diet is done. It's basically stopping any thought that is not going to help you create what you want to create. Yes, I hope this video helps you guys. I know it's going to help you guys. I intend for it to help you guys. See, caught myself there. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and sharing. And we'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.